what's up you guys it's your girl Judy here with my life as Kikai in today's video I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video with the Ofra Cosmetics long-lasting liquid lipsticks because as you can see here I have a few and I thought even though I don't have the whole entire shade range because I do have so many I thought I would just share them with you all so if you want to see the lip swatches and a mini review of what I think of the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks, then just keep on watching. Before I go any further with this video, if you guys do like my content and you want to support me and help me grow my channel to at least a thousand subscribers by this time next year, that's my goal, please do, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave some love comments down below or just any comments would be great. And without further ado, let's go do these lip swatches.
So those are all 26 shades of the long-lasting liquid lipsticks that I have from Ofra Cosmetics. As you can probably tell from the number of lipsticks that I have that I really, really love this range. The formula is just one of the best that I have tried. I do apologize. I know that they have recently gone through another package or sort of rebranding it seems almost every year and I'm always behind in the, with the new packaging that they have but the formula I believe has stayed the same all this time because I have the lipsticks that they have in the very first packaging that they have and this is the second packaging change that they went through but the formula has stayed the same the formula on these liquid lipsticks is very moussey it's not liquidy and then dries down matte I found that they're very moussey and almost whipped when you apply them and they dry down matte but when you smile and move your lips around you know how sometimes the matte lipsticks will crack and start to flake well these ones don't they're like a matte lipstick but flexible if that makes any sense so these lipsticks, I believe, retail for $19. I will leave the link to this line in the description box down below so you guys can go check it out if you want to. There are affiliate codes floating around the internet that you could use to get like 30% off and they're pretty easy to find out there. I personally use Kathleen Light's affiliate code because she's the one that got me into these liquid lipsticks. I first got into them when she released Havana Nights and Miami Fever. And I absolutely love these shades. These two shades are actually really beautiful mixed together. If you want an ombre look, I first put down Havana Nights and then I apply a bit of Miami Fever in the middle of my lips and then I, I tap it down. And that creates a really beautiful ombre look for the winter. And that's also what I would tend to use a lot of the more crazy metallic shades in here for. Like for example, um, we have Atlantis. And I personally wouldn't wear Atlantis on its own because as you saw in the lip swatch, it's very metallic and almost makes my lips fade out from my face and all you can see is the shine. So personally, what I would really do is apply down a darker base like maybe Malibu or or Cancun and then over the top of that I would apply a bit of Atlantis in the middle of my lips and tap it down and let it dry and when it dries you get a really gorgeous ombre type of look so don't be scared off by the super metallic or holographic almost type of lipsticks don't be scared off by them I know they can be a little bit intimidating especially the gold and the silver ones but if you wanted to layer these lipsticks and mix and match I mean there is no limit to what you can do with these colors or with makeup in general, really. I do love these lipsticks. They're very easy to apply and they do last all day. Oh, for example, this lipstick is Atlantic City and this is the one that I have been wearing every day at work for the last six years or so. And I've gone through about six tubes of Atlantic City and that's how much I love it. I get complimented on it all the time. I can also personally attest to the longevity of this lipstick. I will put this on before I get to work in the morning. That's usually around 6.45, 6.30 and it's still on by the end of the day. I'll finish at 2 or finish at 5 depending what day it is and it'll still be on my lips. It'll have faded a little bit because I mean it's, you know, it's hours later but you can still see the lipstick on my lips. It hasn't cracked off or, you know, bled around the corners of my mouth. It's still there. So if you want a long-lasting liquid lipstick that, well, for me, it doesn't dry my lips out. It might perform differently on different people. But in general, I have found that the overall consensus for the Ofra long-lasting liquid lipsticks to be that they are not super drying on the lips. And they don't flake off or crack or ball up, you know, that gross sandy feeling that happens with a lot of matte liquid lipsticks that does not happen with these Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Oh, this video is not sponsored. I just really love these liquid lipsticks. I bought every single one of these myself. <laughs> Please comment down below if you like these lipsticks. Which one did you like best on me? Which one do you like best on you? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. <laughs> okay, close there. Close, close, close there. And what? No, you're letting all the cold air in now by having the door open. Just close the door. Okay, can I turn that here?
Yeah, I'll turn it off now that you've let all the cold air in. I'll turn it off in five minutes. Close the door. I need the light! Look at all the light you have. I need the light! <sighs> 26... I just spent. Watches and lip swatches of the 20... So those are all 26 shades of the swatches. What am I trying to say?